Hello friends and welcome again to another Street Fighter Duel video. In this video we're going to be talking about the teams that you can build and you can go about as free to play to the event of the Satsui Awakening, of the Evil Ryu Awakening event. So, uh, I saw many people asking questions and uh, showing their lineups. I've seen also pay to win lineups, casual lineups and uh, yeah, I'm going to tell you something. Uh, it's a little bit hard to be on the top 10 but it's doable some free to play players showed me on other servers that they did it even there when there's uh, many paying players <coughs> against them it's not easy you need three teams you need three carries actually not just three teams and uh, three supports or three buffers if you can and uh, what everybody is running of course whales and stuff like that are akuma ken and uh, eva Ryu. Okay, so they're using Gen, Fashion Blanca, with Dalsim, and the healer. And Bison, Ken, Viper, and the support. And Rose, Evil Ryu, a tank, and Chun Li. Also, you can play around it. You can use Vega, you can use. Uh, 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 what's his name? Akuma. Let's see, people using Akuma. Yes, Akuma. And probably, yeah unimaginable damage of course better than Ma uh, Eva Ryu Akuma scales even scales more than um, uh, Eva Ryu I saw many videos of content creators saying oh Eva Ryu dominates and everything uh, no not really he doesn't the scaling is different if you read scaling they will understand but with testing they will understand so uh, adding purity playing Vega yeah Vega Vega also shines here uh, Guile shines here, uh, Viper shines here, and Kami. Like, uh, right now, uh, my investment is not that much on Fashion Blanca, but I can do better. I will do better. I need to make some more runs, uh, adjust my models. 97 million here. Uh, this is actually one of the lowest scores I got with Kami. Uh, the highest score I got with her was 120 million, and uh, it was the highest score, but it wasn't the highest run because uh, this team failed. My last team, I'm, I'm running uh, Mad Ryu with Eva Ryu. Eva Ryu buffs the whole team. With all of this buff, still I'm not, get, I'm not getting that 100 million damage. I need to invest either in Guile or Viper. Uh, my Guile and Viper are, are not that well built. As you see, my, my last team, this is my Guile. I need only one more. One more and he unlocks his plus 30 and then I can use him. Uh, yeah, this car, the cards are amazing if you have them because the stacks of Saber goes to 7, but uh, what's really important for you to deal so much damage is the plus 30 because uh, you no longer consume your Sabers and they will stack. It's 5 stacks, I guess, or 3 to 5. Uh, my Viper also, where is she? My Viper also needs plus 30 and these cars actually for her to be uh, monster so I'm using her in tag position uh, there's a lot of other builds so my first team that I'm running Fashion Blanca, Dalsim and uh, the new Chun-Li yes you can use her at A as I said many times before and in prior videos uh, she helps with her C1 and that's what I use her for so here C1 get you the vortex for 12 seconds uh, it mitigate damage and uh, it gives you uh, plus 20, uh, 20, plus 20, yeah, boosted by 20. It gives you an attack boost by 20%, uh, effect resistance, then you don't take so much bleed effect, like it, Vega can't apply so much bleed on you. And uh, it it, uh, it sucks, it's uh, soak a little bit of the attack that you get from Vega. So, decent support for this team. I want to use Yang, but so much he's more for survivability, less for damage he's super defensive not offensive on this team of course Kami running her with Chun-Li and Elena for survivability Chun-Li every time she quits my combo meter gets filled so I can do another combo so with this team specifically with Kami's team when you have Chun-Li with her I don't even start at uh, at, at 
like three bars full I start when the bars are one and a half or two because it Chun-Li enables you to keep going which is good you can pair her up also with Guile works perfectly Guile will keep spamming all you Guile players try Chun-Li with Guile it's perfect add Elena because he will die because he will tank most of the damage Honda will not tank because Guile will stay in, in the front uh, even with Kami, she she takes a lot of damage. And here I'm using any good units with high stats. As you see, if you shift them like that, so 17 at 17,000 attack and 28,000 HP. But uh, my my poison gives 20 per 20,000 20,000 attack, which is what I need on Kami actually to buff her attack. On here, I'm using Evil Ryu. So uh, what I was using is different. I was using somebody else here. I think I was using poison, but Eva Ryu does more damage because she's not built for me. And uh, this rotation, I start with Eva Ryu, uh, Street Poison, uh, Abel, then Mad Ryu, and then I continue Mad Ryu, Street Poison, Abel, and Mad Ryu. Why do I start the first combo with him? Because I want the Satsui no Iki to stack up and it's stuck up when you start so his c1 would trigger and his c3 would trigger his c3 would trigger but we want his c1 to trigger so you need uh, five stacks at least on him so this is how it goes uh this is mainly the lineups uh other free to play player let me check where can i see free to play players here anybody that i know nope maybe this guy no, Sakura is good here also too. Chukur, he, he's not free to play, but he's not a whale, but he's doing good. He can do even better. Yeah, I don't know any of these people actually. What I know is like, uh, it's hard for free to play players to rank up there. But as you see, the rewards are nice. When you rank in the top 50, uh, as the Dante event I think no before Dante event uh, Akuma's event I think uh, the more you rank up the better you get these uh, frames uh, if you rank up the for the four bosses in the top 50 you get the final tier of the of the frame which is nice it's different from the frame in the shop so if you go to the shop there's this frame it's completely different is it worth buying if you want yes but always, if you want to mix min-max, you go for what your account lacks. My account lacks the stones, so I'm buying the stones. As soon as Gal goes to plus 50, I'm going to change that. I'm going to go to summons because I need to build more heroes. Or maybe take these cards because I'm building gears. Maybe some food. Uh, if, you, if you need more copies of Gal, here's your chance. But I, it's ill-advised. I don't advise you to go for Gal. It's expensive to the rewards that you can actually farm from here. So go for it, go for the rewards. And one more thing, people are asking me about how do we build the, the, the models or the talents, the battle lust. So I'm gonna tell you a quick explanation. I don't go for attack right now, I'm going for crit and crit damage. And you can watch Hazing's video, he talked about how crit and crit damage put him in the high score and it's working for me too. Uh, and if you wanna amp up your damage, don't go for attack first, go for damage. Damage gives you 3%, 3%, 3% to 9%. Attack gives you 2%, 2%, 2% for 6%. Uh, 6%. People will ask me, but if isn't attack better than damage or damage better than attack? No, they're equal, they're the same. They're exactly the same. Calculation wise, mathematics, easy, simple math. 100, your, your base attack is 100 and uh, you add to it 10 percent attack so it becomes 110. Uh, let's say your crit damage is uh, 50 percent so the 110 attack the 50 percent of it is 55. so you add this up it's 165 percent when you crit damage in the end that's if you take 10 percent attack if you take 10 percent damage it's the same it's 100 attack and you crit for 150 with the crit damage if it's 50%. So 150%. How much is 10% of the 150? It's 15. You add it up, it's 165%. With 165 damage. 
So attack and damage are equal. Damage is overall of how much old, uh, total damage that you do. And uh, the attack is the baseline flat number that you have multiplied by the percentage that you gain. So in the end, when we did this calculations, when I did this calculation, because I don't want to say we did because nobody said anything, because if I was wrong, I will own it and I will say I was wrong. But this is how the calculation that I did it. And uh, I took attack, I took damage. It didn't, it gave me high scores, but it didn't give me the high, high score that I got now. So I got all the crit rate because also it gives a beneficial thing. It gives defense and here it gives crit resilience that you don't get crit by you, by the enemy. You had to take this, so I take it. It's not bad. And also this, the attack, I took it. Uh, I took damage uh, bonus because it's 3%. I don't want to take the 2% attack damage. The 3% is bigger than the 2, so duh, by nature, I take it. And here, crit rate with HP, crit uh, damage with dodge, so you can dodge some crits or attacks from whatever. Uh, what I will go next is uh, max out all the crits and the crit damage, then all the damage, then all the attack, and maybe take one point on this. This, uh, I forgot what it gives, or this one, because it, it gives you the bleed, shock, and... Uh, burn for fashion for viper for these kind of heroes but i will take this because it adds attack more to it uh to uh, to combo three so your combo three deals more damage uh this is all for that uh i hope you all uh hit the this mark the 391 i know on first day it's hard but it's doable i know whales can bypass all of these easily but it's doable you can do it just push a little bit work with your talent tree uh, and that's all. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. If you didn't, I thank you for watching. And as always, stay frosty. Peace. Time to fight. Time to fight.